Today I want to show you a new feature in UX Pilot that helps you generate screens based on a design. It is a good way to design screens in a quick way. When you don't have a design system, you have only basic structure, but you want to work faster. So how we do it? First of all, I want to design a Chrome extension that uh, fill forms for me. So I don't need to add the, always the name and my email and that stuff. I want to design something for myself. So here I don't need a big design system. I just want to design something very quick to see how it's work. If the stuff work well, maybe I will continue to develop it. So first of all, I need some visual design. I took inspiration from Dutchpads. It's a website for designer when you can find inspiration for about typography, visual design, very good place to take a look. So if you're a designer, you're interested, go there and take a look, you will like it. So what I did, I created the first screen of the design based on this page. Okay, as you can see it here, I did it manually. And now why manually? Because basically the this feature of UX Pirate work well if you have a structure that you can work with. Because if I will ask it to design a new feature based on this, that design, it is a little bit difficult for it now. So the first step, I do it manually, and then you will see that how it is to, to make the design. Because if you start with something big, it's difficult to the AI to generate all the information. So be focused. And this is something that is always important when you work with AI. Be focused, not give it a lot of information. Focus it on what you need. Okay, in the same case here. So I take manually the visual design from here, as you can see in the bottom and the, the selector. And it took to me maybe five minutes to do it. And now I can start to work and iterate about that. So what I do here, let's take the scope here and this one here. Perfect. So what we do here, I select this frame, click on Figma design. And then it will take this screen as a visual inspiration. And here we have the scope. So basically Chrome extension are filling automatically multiple data sets. And this is the first page. And that is the second page. I want to, to design the second page. So I copy that one here. And we can also add a little bit information about the extension. Now we have everything here. I move to a place where we have a little bit more space. Click on render design in the center of the viewport. Because what I want is that uh, you expect to add the new design in the place that I am now. Um, here you can select how many screens you want. In that case, I want one. Let's click on generate and generate the screen. In the meantime, it's generated. Just let you know that I think this is the way that we work in the future. I mean, we take a scope that we defined, give it to the AI and the AI will generate the screen for us. Be aware that in UX Pirate also you can add the design system and create design based on this design system. I have a video about it. I will add it in the description. So as you can see here, this is the new design and it took all the visual design from here, although I don't have any component in the Figma file. So we understand well and continue. One thing that I need to fix is here the switch so I can do it manually. No problem in that case. So I fix it. Here I have the switch. And then I have one more screen that I want to generate. I can select any of these pages. I will select this one and generate based on that the new page that I want. So here I have the last page that I want to generate that I have the data set input, key value, and a little bit of information. Copy that one. Let's move here. Paste it on the text area. Let's select now the frame that we generated, Figma design generate high fidelity design and let's see what it's give to us by the way if you like this video please share it, subscribe i really appreciate it so here we have the information as you can see here so in that case we need to make a little bit a fix so in that case i need only to organize the fields so i make the manual fix and as you can see here i have now a plugin that i can basically start to import to a code builder and start to build because all the assets it's here all the information is here so there is a new technique to create design when you don't have a design system you want something quick or you want to copy an inspiration for another place it is a great option for you and remember that when you work with llm when you work with ai still you need to work in a focus mode you need to focus the ai very specific to your needs don't be vo very bored go very specific and it will give you the best result now i believe that in the future ai will able to calculate more information and will able to send a lot of information and give some more feedback but it will take i believe six months or something like that maybe more maybe less but if you work with these limitations that we have with ai you can generate a lot of things very quickly and although i believe most of you want something like magic that everything will happen in one click i believe we will be there but 
we need a little bit to wait. So this is for this video. If you want to test UX Pilot, you have a link on the description. You will get some free credits. You can test it. Thanks so much for watching. If you are looking for product design to level up your business or you are curious about bringing AI into your workflow, my contact info down in the description. Feel free to reach out anytime. And if you got value from this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and drop a comment. I would love to hear your thoughts or any questions you have got. See you on the next one. Take care.